So is recording with analog tape actually binary? You mean like the cassette tapes that yeah. we used to have for music? Yeah. No, you've cut me on. I've got a whole different, slightly uh, matrix glitchy aspect on this. Yeah. I don't buy any of it. You don't buy any of it. Okay. I can explain what I mean. You understand the concept of like, so tapes have uh, material that hold the, the, the magnetic pole, um, poles, north and south, or? Yeah. The, yeah. So, so, so I, was, I was wondering like, is the tape made up of all these like iron filings or compasses pointing north and south, just scattered on this tape? And it, I was thinking, is that binary? Well, I can see how it doesn't have to be binary. Yeah. Because you can have much more complicated arrangement of that yeah. charge or that. If it's, yeah, if there's a magnetic well, that's, force, yeah. then that could be more complicated than binary. But what I don't buy is that it can give you that much complexity. Mm. I'm not buying it. I'm not buying no. it. Because, okay, so, so especially a lot of you might be too young for this, so we'll put up some pictures so you can refer to this. But we used to have tapes that I would have, you could record music off the radio. And mm. if you actually looked at one of these things, if you wanted to do that, you'd have your radio doing whatever magic it is <laughs> that brings a radio signal through an antenna and then you can hear it. But on top of that, a second layer of magic is that you press play and record and this little plastic little uh, button comes down and the tape goes along that. And somehow that, which is less than a centimetre width, is able to have all of that complexity of music yeah. just trapped in it. <laughs> I'm not buying it. <laughs> and vinyl, again, okay, yeah. same thing. Well, a whole orchestra f through a needle. Yeah, through exactly. A needle on the record. Or Aphex Twin. Yeah. The effects twin on some of the most, you know, ex, ex, uh, adventurous. It's strange. How a single needle point can get all of that complexity because of the way it cut a record. It's mm. a glitch in the matrix. Don't but think about it too much because... You know. Your answer about the um, magnetism holding more information is the, is the correct thing. From how I understand it, so like the, the poles can have... Um, different degrees so it's not binary no. uh, but when you the thing that plays it back the thing that reads the magnetism that could read it back in binary if it's only got a certain resolution yes so it might just be seeing north here south here or as close to north yeah so there'll be a cut off threshold point yeah so, so what we're saying from this is like even like a compass or um, not a compass a magnet it's not like binary in a way, it's just more yeah. one way than the other. Yeah. Really interesting. Spectrum. Spectrum. Yeah. Of all different types. I mean, in a way, this could go on to the idea of, is anything actually binary? Mm. Because, you know, without getting into obvious um, minefields of discussions, but purely by the categorization, as soon as you bring your eyes or your thresholds to categorize something mm. into two, you're going to make something binary even if it wasn't. Yeah. And that can apply to these charges, it can apply to the way water, water yeah. molecules are arranged leading to when they they let off signal, that leads to an MRI scan. Mm. And so the the sheer level of complexity, that's actually a really good point in that so we look at MRI scans, they're wonderfully, really wonderfully detailed. Yeah. And we think, oh well, compared to X rays, this is amazing next level stuff yeah but at that resolution of a three tesla mri which is typically what you get in hospitals so with mri scans actually to get each of those dots they smooth together all of the different so each tiny dot might contain as much as thirty thousand cells okay but you can't see that on an mri yeah. scan. Now, how each one of those cells is giving out different, the amount of water in them mm. is charged in different ways and going in different directions. Mm. As the signals let off, it gets smoothed into one. Yeah. And okay. then that gives you a certain amount of gray on the point. Yeah. So what I'm saying is that at each of these things, a lot of information is either getting smoothed into a positive yeah. or a negative or a certain gray on a gray scale, mm. but it's getting processed along the way, mm. which means there might not, there might not be binaries or grayscale, it might just be much more complex if you yeah. have the ability to perceive it. Yeah, but 
on an MRI scan, is there, there's, not, there's a positive and a negative result, right? Ah, uh, what do you mean? <laughs> or is there? Well, so is exactly. it like there's something there or there's not? Well, that's the thing. So you might have, for example, cancer cells in an MRI mm. in that little dot. But it, if the, that little dot on the MRI, which is just a certain type of gray, mm. if that dot is 30,000 cells, yeah. How many cells now to need to become mm. cancerous before mm. that changes? Okay. So can you have something there you can't see? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Because you've just not got the resolution or the way of perceiving it yeah. to that depth. Yeah. Now, 7T MRI, which is much more you know, research at the moment, um, but that's much, that zooms in even further. Mm. So you can get to a cellular level. Yeah. So, so I want to come in the, the defense of binary. But this is coming from a mindfulness person that's like, hmm. let's go of all preconceived ideas about yeah. thoughts and feelings. But ev it's from evolution, right? Something is potentially, something is either good or bad. Um, or, or, or when the nervous system is activated, we, we go very binary, like friend or foe, or, um, or I'm angry, or someone's bad. We don't take in their story. So, so our resolution goes down. Oh, Basically. good, yeah, yeah. Like that's that. that's, yeah, how, yeah, it, that's how it ties in. Um, but it's efficient. So it is efficient, but prone to error. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. So you might yeah. get quite a few things right. Mm. And from an evolutionary perspective, if you take everything as a threat, mm. and there happen to be some threats in the environment, maybe you will survive a bit longer. Yeah. But you might have had a bit more of a miserable time. Yeah. Because you've been perceiving everything as a threat. Mm. But it's enough to then evolutionarily be alive for longer, maybe procreate more and pass. So mm. it depends on how, how you look at it. Mm. Like, oh, yeah. So yeah, it yeah. might it might have that positive, but it comes at that cost. Yeah. Yeah. Who's to say? But it obviously did have some benefits in evolutionary, like because they they become really sort of ingrained kind of uh, emotions and act, act, uh, reactions. Um, like, you know, if something burns on your skin. Yeah. Yeah, um. yeah, absolutely. These are, they have their uses. Yeah. But that doesn't mean that they can't be uh, enhanced, modified, mm. yeah. combined with other functions. Yeah. And I would also say that natural, it is natural for us to be in that wide open resolution. You know, like with mindfulness, it's like, yeah. So, so, so that's how it would probably translate to mindfulness. So like, Someone is bad would be the binary. Someone's bad, I'm good, someone's bad. Underneath that would be an emotion, um, anger. Hmm. Or underneath that is fear, probably. Yeah. Uh, underneath that is the sensations in the body, the hormones, the stress hormones, the nervous hmm. system. Um, and underneath that is, is just stuff moving. And stuff's moving all the time. So like, that's a lovely way of thinking about mindfulness practice. You're just increasing the resolution. Yes. Becoming more analog. Yeah. Uh, on, your, on your sensations. Oh, yeah. yeah. The song yeah. is changing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. You're getting to hear more of that orchestra. Yeah. Or more of Apex Twin. Yeah. 